everyone, Larry back with you again on this beautiful Saturday afternoon here in Northwest Alabama. And what I'm working on today is some finishing touches on the sawmill shed. Or maybe I would rephrase that, some finishing some of the touches on my sawmill shed. So come on, let's get started on this project today. I started out here, I had a little offset in this corner that was causing everything just not quite to line up like I wanted it to. So what I did was rip down some of the uh, two by material, cut it down to three inches and that's what I placed here in this corner and then I'm going to uh, put some narrow pieces over this, uh, narrow battens over there. My table saw is located out here in the barn and it's a pretty good size saw and a little more difficult to uh, move back and forth. So the only inconvenient thing that I have to do is when I'm wanting to rip one of the boards down or some of the boards down, making this little trip back out here to the uh, shop to do that on the table saw. these uh, three boards ripped and get back out here now and see if we can get them put up on this sawmill shed.
What I'm using here for some, I guess you would call it molding or facing in this area between um, where the, over, the overhang of the shed is. What I'm using is some of the utility poles that I ripped down to uh, one inch and then, well, I sawed them down to one inch and then I ripped them down to six inches and um, then underneath these uh, these boards facing whatever you want to call them um, that's where I'm starting the batten for this section this end section of battening board or board and batten The reason I'm wearing my earphones, and I think I mentioned this a little bit later on in the video, but the reason I'm wearing them is I'm listening to the Iron Bowl, the Alabama and Auburn football game, and uh, I'll have to admit what a game that was if you saw it on TV. I'm listening to the Alabama-Auburn football game, the Iron Bowl, on my headsets. Just going to do a little walk around of the uh, sawmill shed. What what I was doing today was uh, putting the batten on the uh, board, and also have got the uh, pegs pipe in. You can see that around here coming underground. It came in with the uh, with the power cable, 
and eventually be running water to the uh, sawmill shed. But everything looking pretty good so far. Uh, the lights are a, a good plus. They do a good job of lighting up the uh, lighting up the shed. And then something over here that I did. Jenny and I were out one day and came across this old S and H green stamps sign. I thought this was a pretty neat sign and I thought it would be a good addition to the uh, front of the sawmill shed. This is the part of the sawmill shed that faces west and faces the road uh, in front of our house. So uh, everything looking pretty good. Got everything uh, somewhat like I want it and just a matter now of uh, again few finishing touches left to complete on the sawmill shed. Okay, well there you have it folks. Think I'll wrap up this video today. Been listening to the Iron Bowl, the Alabama and Auburn football game and uh, sounds like a tough battle for both teams. Auburn just scored a few minutes ago, so we'll see how it comes out at the end of the game. But thank you so much for joining us on this video today. And let me mention at this point, what I did here on this end was uh, to cut up some hickory. Uh, it was one of the trees that we pushed down or that Matthew Green pushed down when we uh, expanded the sawmill area. And so I cut it up into uh, one inch boards. I think they were about nine inches wide. And that's what I've used up here on this section. Uh, some hickory in this area. Uh, I've got, of course, the utility poles that we cut up that are here. And then up above in the middle, I've got some cedar that was given to me by one of our neighbors. And then um, in the other area behind me here, some of the batten and board, and of course the um, uh, most of the rafters are the um, are the the pine, the southern pine. I guess that's a, a southern yellow pine that uh, we had cut up and that's what we used for part of it and then part of it was um, another southern yellow pine that was given to me by my nephew Lee Mobley and um, so I incorporated just several different species of wood into the sawmill shed and I thought that was kind of a neat uh, thing to do. So there you have it and thank you for joining us. Uh, be sure if you haven't already, be sure please to subscribe to the channel. Uh, we would certainly like to get up to a thousand subscribers and um, we're on our way. We're not there, but we're on our way. So uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Share a comment down below. Enjoy reading those. If I've missed responding to any of them, I apologize for that. I try to get to every one of them. And uh, then as always, share it with a friend. So until the next one, folks, be looking forward to seeing you on that one. Until then, this is Larry. Bye-bye, everybody. Have a great one. See ya.